friends, it's Jamie. Hi, and Gemma. From Play to Learn Preschool. I'm back. <laughs> she watched the live video yesterday. It. And after yesterday, I'm like, I have to stay today because I'm, I'm worried about Jamie's safety. It's fine, look. I'm totally fine. It, it came was very entertaining. Shower. It's totally fine. I did enjoy watching it. <laughs> we have another idea for you. If you're like us, at the very beginning of the year, right back from a big break, your students need time to reacclimate to the classroom. And they need re time to remember the rules, the routines, and um, it's just hard to start uh, right out of the gate, hmm. back in January, going full speed. So we like to plan, super simple, easy for us to prep because neither of us spent the two weeks that we had off. No. Nope preparing our projects. Um, Which you shouldn't spend very long preparing our projects anyway, but this is even less than you would normally do. We really did unplug yeah, for those two to. weeks. It was good. It was really good to be with our families and just not worry about preschool. So what that means is though that our plan book is kind of like a little bit like winging it. But winging it for us, us just means pulling out things that we know are really good for our students. We know that they are tried and true and they take us like two minutes to set up. And sometimes those projects Probably the best ones. Uh, the ones that work really well for everybody. Because you don't have any stress. Because they're not stressed. Super simple. Yeah. So yesterday I showed you the vinegar and baking soda activity that we did that the students dubbed unicorn fizzies. Mm -hmm. And today we're going to show you what we call paper towel painting or tie-dye paper towels. Or oh, whatever you like, really. You can name it whatever you want. It depends on which, what colors you use and stuff, kind of what your um, inspiration would be for the naming. You know me well enough by now, but I feel like I have to explain. Like in my mind, I'm always like, well, it's January, so of course they have to be shades of blue because that's like, Snow okay. colors or something. <laughs> oh no! And then the camera jumped off about, of the iPhone. Do you remember about us saying we still need a cameraman? Like a camera hey, person? Still here. Okay, that might happen again. Is that gonna happen again? Oh, you guys. We're not good at this. Maybe. Is this one we have to delete and start over? My hands take Is everybody totally... still there? Okay. Are we, are Hello, we... sorry. <laughs> I was saying about how, in my crazy thinking, um, if it's January, I have to do shades of blue because that's yeah. like winter colors or something. I don't know. Um, you can pick any colors you want. Okay. And I just thought that we just choose things that um, don't turn brown. Look, not bad. Everybody's like, are your hands fine? They're fine. They came off in the shower. It's all good. Okay, so. It was funny though. <laughs> I'm afraid the camera's gonna jump off the thing again. Okay. The way that we set this project up, it took us two minutes. Hmm. We covered our table with a shower curtain because that's what we do when we're trying to avoid yeah. the mess. Yeah. And then... We don't always remember that. Oh, yes, and the shower curtain is from the dollar store. It's really cheap. When it gets really gross, you throw it away and you buy a new one. One dollar. Okay. The supplies for this activity... Yeah. Away a little bit so you can see the materials. Okay, we're doing yeah. the best we can. It's, it's hard because it's the table's not. And the like way that Facebook enough. does it, they do like this vertical. I'll, I'll hold it down when we're ready to do the materials. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, and there's no like adjusting. We've got issues. Hi, yeah. hi, hi. Okay, so the supplies for this activity are paper towels, one roll of paper towels. Um, this, Jamie buy, buys the, the good paper towels from her house. These are the ones from my house, not the school yeah, paper they're towels. they're not school ones. So these are the ones from, so it, it really is very absorbent, which I think is the way to go for this activity. Don't use dry school paper towels. They will not, it won't look very good. And then, like yesterday, we made colored water. Yesterday was vinegar, today is water. Today is just plain water. We used blue, I didn't pull out the, you didn't pull out the purple, thank you for no, that. No, I didn't. And red watercolors. But the red leaks, but I use gloves. That's why she's here, is to show us that Don't she's be like the, Jamie, don't wear be gloves. Like me. Okay, I'm gonna try to move the camera a little bit so people can see. Anyway, we just made colored water. If you do not have watercolors, don't overthink this. Use food coloring. It is going to work exactly the same. Your students will have the same benefits of the activity, and your hands won't turn blue. I mean, they, they will, but oh. you can still, you can just, 
It, it doesn't leak easy. like watercolor, does it? No. I don't know. I guess you'll find out when you use them. Okay, I'm gonna try you to- You can get that from the dollar store too, I think. Can you? I'm gonna try- Oh, watercolor, yeah. or yeah. food coloring. Can you food see color. better here? Like this? Does that work better? I don't know if I can see that or not. All right. Unless you want me to demonstrate it. All right, is that better? A little bit better? Okay. okay. Nobody bumped the table. <laughs> so we just pulled off strips of the paper towel, laid it all over the table. Easy. Which I'm not gonna do with too many now because it's just Jamie and I. Okay. I won't squirt it everywhere. <laughs> then just like we did, and just like we did yesterday, we explicitly taught our students how to use these little plastic pipettes or plastic droppers. We got these from Discount School Supplies. They're 12 for three or four dollars. But you can also order them on Amazon. They're super cheap if you look for little plastic pipettes or plastic droppers. Yep. Or you can get them from the drugstore like CVS mm -hmm. or Walgreens or something like that. They usually have droppers. Yeah, and if you speak really nicely to the pharmacist, they might give you a bunch. Gemma's been that. known to do that every now and again. <laughs> so the students are practicing their tripod grasp, the one that they'll need to use when they hold a pencil. So they're just going to squeeze their droppers and then we call it like uh, tie-dye paper towels or paint your paper towels yeah we normally remove the chairs so they can stand up and move around and do this exactly we cover the whole table with paper towels so they can just walk around and they're just again practicing that tripod grasp now they had so this we did this with our threes I, there was so much on the table that I actually thought it would never, ever dry. It did. It did, I mean, it, it took the whole weekend, but I, I actually didn't think it was gonna dry at all. It was a lot of it water. It was a lot. The paper towels are very absorbent. It's kind of like a science project, too. <laughs> yeah. If you pick two primary colors, they'll get some experience with color theory and color mixing. You're yeah. so smart. It's like you read my mind. Yeah. Um, so and when they dry, you're left with miles of paper towels. Now, we could just send them home to the parents and be like, we could make clothing go. from them. We could. <laughs> We've yeah. done a video on this before. If you've watched all of our videos, you're like, I think I've already seen this before. a few years ago. Because this is one of our go-to easy activities. When they're dry though, we'll let each child choose their favorite square of the paper towel. <laughs> and then we use glue sticks or glue, glue dots, dots, or you could use liquid glue, but that doesn't dry as fast. Hmm. And we usually back them on. Oh, look at Ooh. that. It's beautiful. It's really pretty. That is really pretty. On a piece of cardstock. This is 12 by 12 cardstock because the paper towels are about 11 inches. But you could cut the paper towels down if you don't have any of this and use any kind of card you want or we'll have. You could also cut a shape out of the paper towel if Ooh, you were really smart. ambitious. We did leaves one year. Um, and then what we're going to do is, and I'll share this after we go live, but just put a little explanation for the parents about what what the project was. So they're like, oh, thanks for the paper towel. Just like we worked on fine motor skills with the eyedroppers and we worked together with this group project. Anyway, I'm gonna do a little parent explanation here. And then the students are gonna use a marker to write their name on the other side. Easy. That's it. But those are the kind of projects that work really well for us at the beginning of the school year. And again, at the beginning of January. Better. It's better if it's higher. Mm -hmm. And then again at the beginning of January after they've been on a break. Because we just need the time to be able to sit around and talk with them, re um, you know, develop that friendship and the relationship that we have with our students that they have yeah. with each other. Yeah, they have to learn how to all get along with each other again. And they need more time to remember how to get along with each other. <laughs> because they forget that over the break when they're maybe just their siblings at home and now they have to share with lots of other people. It's a different world when you're in a room with 10 or 12 kids. So anyway, that is our super simple idea for you today. We'll have one more super simple idea for you tomorrow. And in the meantime, we hope you always have fun playing and learning with your preschoolers. And we'll see you next time. Bye everybody. Bye.